Hey, we're back in the air and it's time again for another big aerial tour update at Talon Preserve on Palmer Ranch. This is another long one at 15 whole minutes, so buckle in. Feel free to skip around to the chapter marks you'll find in the description below. We'll start right out by climbing up to an altitude of about 290 feet over the preserve near the main circle for a panoramic 360 degree view of the whole community. Past the main entry gate, we're looking at Mossy Pine Court and Crested Eagle Lane, which are nearly complete. Then we're looking over the Eagle's Nest Preserve area where the baby eaglet has now flown for the first time but remains near the nest. Next we're at the south end of Eagle Branch and the Amenity Center with Hidden Sawgrass Pass jutting in behind the Amenity Center. Past the sports courts, we cross over Talon Preserve Drive with a view out to the third phase of the community in the distance. The entrance to Route 681 is also out there. Next, we're panning over the main irrigation pond, past which is Little Eagle Loop in the distance. The central section of Eagle Branch Drive sits in the foreground. We'll keep panning across Grand Talon Lane with Winding Pine in the distance. Lots of homes underway on Winding Pine. Out beyond that is the construction entrance at the far end of Eagle Branch. And now we're back to the main gate, where there's a guard from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Mondays through Saturdays. All gates are closed on Sundays now, though the main gate remains accessible to residents. We'll drop down and get started on our flying tour of the community, beginning with the Amenity Center site. This footage was shot on Saturday evening, May 21st, 2022. It was a cloudy, overcast day as rainy season is starting. Flying over the site, we see the slow but steady progress at the clubhouse. They're continuing with stucco and paint on the exterior. The pool looks about the same, but it looks like they've finally buried some of the in-ground plumbing lines with more to go. We can make out the end of Hidden Sawgrass Path behind the Amenity Center. We'll switch now to a view making an orbit around the clubhouse to get a good view of the whole site from all angles, starting this time in the back. Around back, we get a good view of most of the pool area and the painted bathhouse, to which they have started adding the final metal roofing on some sections towards the street. At the pool, you can see the area around the beach entry has had its plumbing lines to the back buried, up to a point. And you can sort of make out the waterfall feature plumbing still jutting up. Beyond that, you can see the splash pad still does not have its gunite or concrete shot in yet. In the distance a bit, you can make out work at the tennis courts, where fence posts are up as is a center shade area. Swinging around the front of the clubhouse, we get a view of the pickleball courts, where post holes have been drilled for fencing and bases for light posts are in. At the clubhouse itself, work continues on stucco and a first coat of paint. They seem to be taking the stucco and paint work one section at a time. Indeed, at the east tower, you can see that the upper portion has been stuccoed and painted, while the lower part has only its stucco. Inside the clubhouse, we know that they have begun hanging some drywall. Continuing on, you can see the bathhouse from the front and better make out the sections with metal roofing. Around the west side, we get a good look at the bocce ball courts where their clay surfaces are in, but now mostly covered against the rain. Mostly. And there is a good view of the somewhat squared off start of the swim lane portion of the pool. And the spa shell is nicely visible here too. In the back of the pool area is a set of large tanks which are presumably for holding water and perhaps the pool sanitizing chemicals. As we finish our orbit, we'll pass along some official word on the status of amenity construction via a May 20th HOA newsletter. Word is the clubhouse and pool are now planned to open in quarter one of 2023. They also said that if they could open sooner, they would. The sports courts are also delayed and may open this fall, quarter four, 2022. And we're back way up overhead of the clubhouse for a top-down view of the site. We can again see the swim lane of the pool quite well from up here. We also see the presumed water tanks in the back again, with pipes running from them to the splash pad and spa. Since this was filmed, those pipes have been buried as well. And then we're over the sports courts, starting with the bocce ball courts. To the west of the bocce ball courts, we see that some work has been done defining the pickleball courts. Post holes are dug, but no fence posts yet. 
In front of the pickleball courts are the tennis courts, where most of the fence support frame is in place, as is the underlaying layers for the court surfaces. But no further work seems to have been done yet. And that takes us back around to the front, where we will wrap up with a view of all the pavers stacked and ready in the parking lots. New curb work after this was filmed may mean paver placement could start sometime soon. Maybe. And then, of course, there's Vince's dumpster pad. With that, we'll drop down and head out on our tour amongst the homes in the community, starting by heading up the south end of Eagle Branch Drive. All of the homes on this short section are and have been closed. We'll pass over the main circle intersection and then head up the center section of Eagle Branch. This section only has a couple of homes left under construction, and three more homes have closed in May. In late April and early May, we had news that appliances had been stolen out of a couple of homes ready to close. The builder did move to address this by adding more fences at the new entrances and closing those gates in off hours. As we head north, we pass Grand Talon Lane on the right, where two new lots have been started, and the trailside model home has been sold and resold. We'll continue north on Eagle Branch and into Phase 2, where construction activity remains the heaviest, with one home actually getting close to done. Continuing north, we pass a number of newly started lots and see that more roofs are in place and more lots have their block walls, so this section is really starting to fill out. Beyond these homes, we come to the location of the future dog park on the left. Since this was filmed, there has been some work on that. Concrete posts for walls have gone up on the side berms and parking space lines have been painted in the parking lane. Got buzzed by some blackbirds there. Moving on, you can see that another villa building has its roof and more buildings are getting block walls. And that will bring us to the construction entrance onto Honoré Avenue. Landscaping is mostly done along the wall south of here. And perhaps as a result of the appliance thefts, or just good timing, they have added some wooden fences next to the existing gate mechanism, and now the gate is properly closed in off hours. Good to see. Now we're going to head down Winding Pine Drive from east to west. Oops, made that turn a little bit too quickly, sorry. Almost all of the lots here have started and we're seeing a lot more block walls and a lot more roofs on. While I'm not gonna call out any specific lots today, I have an idea for next time. Go ahead and let me know in the comments if you'd like me to call out a lot and list what that lot number is. Next video, I'll try to call out as many as I can. As we come up to the intersection of Winding Pine and Eagle Branch again, you can see on the left corner there that lot 532 now has landscaping and sod and looks ready to close in the next few weeks or so. Okay, so I did call out one house. Past the intersection, this section of Winding Pine with distinctive and echelon series homes is developing just as fast as the previous section. We should definitely see quite a few closings out here in Phase 2 this summer and fall. We'll swing around now and head down Little Eagle Loop headed south. Like Winding Pine, there's now a lot of homes in roof here, and all the lots here have started. Progress is a stop and start thing in all areas of Talon Preserve, but it seems to be fairly steady as a whole. It's just hard to predict when any one house will progress to the next step.
Now we're flying over to Talon Preserve Drive, starting from the amenity center and headed west. A few more homes have closed on this stretch of Talon Preserve Drive, and only a very few are left under construction. At this point, at the end of May, there are now about 100 homes closed across the whole community. That's a big milestone, and while it took over a year to reach it, the pace has accelerated to the point I'd guess we'll hit 200 before the new year. At the end of the paved portion of Talon Preserve Drive, we will transition out into what will be the third phase. As we move into this third phase area, we can see that they have now laid down the layer of oiled gravel. That likely means we'll see a smooth, drivable layer of asphalt within weeks. Some have ventured out here by foot or by bike, and there's one such cyclist down there now. As we make our turn, you can see the large new lake with the road called Misty Pond Loop heading off around it. And then we come to the short roadway out to the entrance onto Route 681. There's oiled gravel out here as well. And like at the construction entrance, they've added wooden fences here and put up a set of metal gates. Now we'll turn around and head southeast along Misty Pond Loop, where we see the layer of oiled gravel out here as well. You can also see that they have begun placing the concrete posts for the outer wall on the berm between Misty Pond Loop and Route 681. After this was filmed, they finished placing the posts and began adding in the concrete wall sections as well. As we turn back east at the south end of Misty Pond Loop, we leave the area of the future Legacy Trail connection, which is officially targeted now for completion by the end of the fourth quarter 2022. With that, we will head back towards Phase 1. Now we're back in Phase 1 again, and we have just two streets left to cover. We'll turn southeast down Crested Eagle Lane and get a good look at this nearly complete street. A few more homes here have closed in May, and only a very few homes remain under construction on this street, which looks likely to be the first full street completely built out. Finally, we're off down Mossy Pine Court. The fourth four-unit villa building is now complete, and the other two are moving right along, with one having paver driveways in place. Remember to post a comment with your lot number for future callouts, and consider subscribing and clicking that like button if you want to see more like this. And that brings this long video update to an end. I may actually have to start splitting these up. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.